find the angle between the xy plane and the tangent plane to the ellipsoid given as x squared over 12 plus y squared over 12 plus z squared over 3 equals 1 um, the tangent plane at, at the point 2 2 1 uh, let's start off with that what is the equation of the tangent plane well equation of the tangent plane uh, when it's in the form of x, y's, and z's all together is that we create this function capital F which is going to be uh, the entire function set equal to zero so we take and uh, simply take this and subtract one from it and then we take the partial derivatives with respect to x, y, and z and get uh, x over 6 y over 6 would be the y partial and 2z over 3 would be the z partial What do we do with these? We evaluate these at the point of interest. So we take and evaluate each of these at 2, 2, 1. Okay, so what is fx at 2, 2, 1? going to be a third. Fy at 2, 2, 1 is going to be a third. Fz at 2, 2, 1 is going to be two thirds. What's the equation of the plane then? It's going to be one third times x minus 2 quantity one-third times y minus 2 quantity and two-thirds times z minus 1 quantity equals to zero we can multiply through by 3 to get a uh, x minus 2 plus y minus 2 plus 2z minus 2 equals to 0. And so the equation of this plane is x plus y plus 2z. We have a minus 2, a minus 2, and another minus 2. That's a minus 6. It's going to be equal to 6. Great. That's the equation of the plane. Now, we want the angle between two planes. We want the angle between the xy plane and this tangent plane that we just went and go uh, went out and found. Okay. The angle between two planes we see is the same as the angle between their normal vectors. The normal vector for this tangent plane is 1, 1, 2. The normal vector for the xy plane is going to be 0, 0, 1 or 0, 0, any, any constant whatsoever. Let's go ahead and use uh, 0, 0, 1. I need the angle between these two vectors now. 
That would be the same as the angle between the planes. Angle between vectors found by using the fact that the cosine of the angle between them is their dot product. Uh, let's call this guy U and this guy V so that we have uh, U dot V all over magnitude of U times a magnitude of V. That's what the cosine of the angle is. Dot part between these two vectors is just going to be 2. Because we get 0 when we multiply the x's, 0 when we multiply the y's, and 2 when we multiply the z's. Uh, the magnitude of u, it just happens to be a unit vector. I didn't make it u because it was unit. I just decided to call it u. But yeah, the magnitude of u is 1, while the magnitude of v is uh, 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. That would be um, root 6. So we have, that's what the angle, uh, the cosine of the angle between them is. Let's go ahead and uh, distribute here, root 6 over root 6. And what we get out is 2 root 6 over 6, or uh, root 6 over 3. That's what the cosine of the angle between them is. So the angle between them is the cosine inverse of that. That's not one that we're supposed to recognize as one of our multiples of 30, 45, or 60. And so we will report the answer just like this. Nothing else we can do there without a calculator.